Okay guys, good morning. It's 7.09 in the morning. I am not a morning person. But Marco has to be at school at 7.15. So good morning, it is Friday. February 23rd. 24th. the 23rd. February the 24th. The 24th day of uh, Longer Times. The 24th day of Longer Times. And I'm taking him to school and um, oh, then I'll go back. Uh, yeah, Should I check my shirt in. Um, you can tuck it in when you get to school or whatever. Just do it now. And then, um, I gotta go home and get the other boys ready to go to school. And then, uh, take them, take them to school and then I have some stuff I have to do. I have to go get some wax strips for work. I have to go mail some product off. And I have to go to work. Oh. So I'm trying to figure out who, well, I'm still trying to figure out who's going to go get the boys and bring them to me to work because I can't leave because I have appointments. So, and, but, but I'll get it figured out, I guess. This is ridiculous, but I'll get it figured out. All right, guys, so. I dropped the two younger ones off at school now, and now I have to go get stuff for the salon. And then I talked to, I can't remember if I told you guys, but I had this company call, and they um, wanted to, wanted me to order toys from them because the people that owned it before, the lady that owned it before me used to order from her. So I, um, so, they wanted me to order toys and then they'll give me 130, 120 days to pay for the toys, which is really cool because it's our busy time for one. And number two, if we buy toys from them and then we don't sell them, we can send them back and get a credit for. So, I'm going to try that and see how well it works. But I ordered a bunch of toys here while back. Well, not a bunch. $300 worth of toys here while back. And we have more money in the salon than we ever had. Number one. Number two. Um, I bought them about two weeks ago. Maybe three. And they're almost gone. So it's, it's good selling to have toys in there. So... All my coffee cups are dirty. So hopefully um, this all works out. Because it's all been pretty positive so far doing it. So we'll see. I said if we have to, we'll make that place look like a freaking toy store. If that's what's bringing money in and going to make us money, that's what we'll freaking do. So, I mean, we are a kid salon too. So, I mean, it makes sense. So... But one thing that's crazy is we bought these things that are called surprisimals. Oh my God, they are going so fast that I'm gonna have to call and order I think two boxes more of them because they're going so fast and I can't keep them because the kids are going nuts over them. So that's good. So anyways, I'm gonna go get all this done and then I'll check in later. Good morning everybody, it's Friday morning. Guess what I'm doing? Getting ready for work. Eating breakfast. It's like Groundhog Day around here. Just eating my cereal. While I'm getting dressed, there's my candle. My root candle. Look, I put an illuminate on the top of it because it, was, it wasn't pulling out very well. Fit right on the top there and look. It worked. It worked. Got a good wax pull. I have my bigger size one in the bathroom in the hallway, but it's too big for an illuminate. The illuminate doesn't Fit on there it goes falls down in the middle it's just the whole the opening of the top's too big so 
that one I'm having little problems with. I'm putting a foil around it, but anyway, enough of that candle talk. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just finishing getting dressed and then heading to work. So that's about it. Sorry guys, I'm sorry the vlogs have been not too exciting the last few days, but when you work 10 hours a day, not much else happens. I just eat, sleep, and work, and repeat. Well, my client that I buy Girl Scout cookies, she hasn't came in, and this other lady came in, and I wanted some Girl Scout cookies, so I bought from her instead. Well, the little girl client of mine that sells them to me usually every year, she came in, her mom just came into the salon while I was there. I was picking up some stuff to take back that we don't sell, and then I also, um, to get some product that I got to mail to a lady because the kids product we keep I don't make an order for that until we are like pretty much out of everything because I got to pay $10 shipping and handling so I don't want to just order like six things and then pay six or ten dollars shipping and handling so I always wait till I have to buy a bunch at once because paying ten dollars shipping and handling like every few months just to buy a few things gets outrageous so anyways I this lady paid for her kids product already it's a client of mine so I told her that when I got it I would mail it to her so anyways I gotta go mail it well why is in there picking up that product so I could um, mail it to her my little girl's mom was in there and so I accidentally bought some more s'mores Girl Scout cookies. Only bought one though because um, I bought so many from the other one because I didn't know if she was still doing it because the little girl's parents got divorced and stuff. So I just I was like, well, they haven't been in, so maybe she's not in Girl Scouts anymore. And then she comes in, and she's like, I got Girl Scout cookies. I'm like, oh, I cannot buy nothing from her. So I bought one pack. So, I still got some order. So, but I did tell her mom to bring her up and let her sit up at the salon and um, set a table up and we could sell them on like a Saturday or something. And she doesn't have to stay there with her. She can just come drop her off and she can hang out with us at the salon. So, anyways. going to SSG now so I can get some product or out of men's product a few things not all of it just out of a couple of things it's like we'll have it on the shelf and then boom it's gone okay so we're home from work and Marco wanted to cook dinner so I'm letting Marco cook dinner right Marco yeah I'm a bad cook he told, it, he told me it was too chunky. Yeah. Too We're having hamburger helper and he didn't chop up much of the hamburger. So get the scissors and cut it. I got it. Please so you're going to get it everywhere. So I'm letting him cook dinner. We'll see how good he does. Test, test, test. Marco got dinner done. So it's time to sit down and eat. And Ralphie's not eating with us tonight because the nail tech bought her son and Ralphie dinner at Sonic. So they yeah, ate Sonic eating. and he's not hungry so he's not eating. I'm not hungry at all. So here's our hamburger helper that Marco made. So I got some tobacco sauce to go on it and some Parmesan cheese. Which hamburger? Let's see. This is cheesy enchilada. Yeah, cheesy enchilada hamburger helper. So, we'll see how it tastes. Before I put anything on my, yes. Before I put anything on my food, like when I make something like chicken or whatever, before I put ketchup on it or anything, I gotta taste it before, because I gotta know what it tastes like before you put add stuff on it. So let's, let's try Marco's food here. Kind of too close. Hot. 
bro. Don't do that. Just kidding. Tastes good, son. That's the easiest thing that I know how to make. <laughs> What about He's gonna become quite the cooker and then Brett and I can just sit around and he can make dinner like Kaylin and Mackenzie does for their dad and mom. Well then you can clean. We got Ralphie. He can clean the dishes. No! Nope, rule in the house. Whoever cooks, don't do dishes. It's just the rule. You had this planned <laughs> all day long. <laughs> Yep, I actually did, to be honest. So that's why you were so worried about what I set out for dinner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so he has to do uh -huh. all the dishes. He has to do all of the dishes. Brett will be the last one to eat. <laughs> I say you're a savage. <laughs> So anyways, if you're wondering why Marco's dressed up, it's because he had a choir thing at school today. Um, they went to another it. school and it was like competition of, I think it's just the school districts in the area. It was me. Okay. And so then they Mark, got, Antioch, Park, uh, yeah, so all the DC. ones in the school district and they got second place. So not too bad. Just know what they need to work on now. And then no, we, um, we he did. goes next Saturday to another concert, and there's gonna be judges at that one too. And then he has a couple more concerts in between that, and then he goes to St. Louis in May for an another contest. So we'll see how he does. So I just got home from work, getting ready to eat me something. Marco's hamburger helper he made. They're all in there watching TV. They're watching cops. And then I'm getting ready to eat and edit because I'm way behind on editing the vlogs. I'm like three vlogs behind. I was tired last night and didn't feel like doing it, so I didn't do it. We're still vlogging every day, you just they won't be up. They'll be up when they get up pretty much. So <clears throat> gonna do that and it's freezing outside it's so cold outside it's like 27 degrees what happened to this 70 degree weather we had almost 80 degrees the other day and wearing shorts and no jacket now it's 27 degrees and it was snowing earlier what's up with that i want that spring weather back people asked if we were moving we want to get in home they asked if we were going to stay in this area or move out of state someplace warmer i wish i really wish i should really put in try to put in a transfer for my job Let's see if brad can open a salon somewhere warmer although i will say it hasn't been that bad this winter if the winters stay like this here i wouldn't mind it so bad but it got cold today though so ralphie got his weekly sheet at school this week and look it's crumpled up because he had it in his pocket Monday, they didn't have school, so there was nothing on Monday. Tuesday, smiley face. Wednesday, smiley face. Thursday, smiley face. And Friday, smiley face. So that's awesome. He's doing so good in his new class. It's just so crazy how he, he's doing so much better. He hasn't moved his star even once, not even to green. The whole time he's been there now, what, three weeks now, I think? It's just really weird. I don't know why he was having such a problem in the other class and now this, no problems in this class. But, so I don't know, something just wasn't working in that other class, but. So luckily it's all good now. So, that's awesome. Glad he's doing much better. Marco's sleeping. We're gonna do nurse checks. He's tired. Ralphie already passed out. We took him to bed. Peanut. So we're just looking online at these things. Marco told us about these. They're called fidget fidget spinners. Fidget spinners. They're for kids that have ADD, ADHD 
or autism, anxiety. I guess he said one of his friends had one at school that has ADD. They like... They just, between their fingers like this and then they just kind of like spin them and stuff. Hmm. I've never heard of those. Have anybody ever heard of those? Because ADD kids can't sit still, ADHD yeah. kids, you know, they always need to fidget, so. And he asked for one, so why not get it for him, you know, if it's going to help him. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And like, they're like $4.20, like, not even expensive. I mean, there's more expensive ones, but I mean, the ones he's yeah. chose is $4. That's pretty cool. I never heard of those. Comment below if you've heard of those and if, if you have know anybody that's used those and if they work I think we might try it and see how it works All right, it's the end of the vlog Brad's going to bed. I'm just finishing the vlog from Tuesday and then I will head by myself So just so you guys know I've lost 10 pounds, so I'm gonna start running on the treadmill because I have a wedding to get ready for. I got a wedding in seven months. I can't and I see can't that. look like a big old fat slob like I did in my brother's wedding because I'll be part of the center of the attention because my brother and I is walking my sister down the aisle. So everybody will be looking at us. So I gotta look decent. Do you want to run on the treadmill? Have you run on that treadmill before? Mm-hmm. I don't remember that. Remember, I ran on it before I started having all my back issues. And now that my back issues are coming to an end. And then when it gets nice, we're all going for walks. So I can start looking decent for this wedding. I really... My sister's a trainer at Nine Rounds. And I really want to join, and she's going to give me the family discount, but we're trying to get a house and stuff, so trying to watch money, so mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, but I wish I could, but then I wish I didn't, couldn't, and I'm glad we can't, because my sister would run me to the ground. <laughs> she's my little sister, so all those bad things will come back and haunt me. <laughs> That's right. Well, maybe after we get the house and settle and everything. That's why I'm working this overtime because if we want to have stuff we want to do here to the house, even though we're using our income tax money too, but they, every little extra bit will help. And, and I've then, been saving my cash tips too. Yeah. And then like if we, one of the houses we're looking at has, it's a newer home, so it'll have a kitchen, has like a stainless steel um, stove and the mic uh, microwave and the dishwasher. So of course... Our refrigerator is white, so if I won't go there, we'll want to get a stainless steel refrigerator. So, you know, we'll have to buy that. And then, um, everything else will go, our couch and everything, well, we just got that, so that's nice and new, so. And the table, depending on this one house we're looking at, it has darker wood, so that table probably would, we'd want to get, like, a different table eventually, but it'll work for now. Mm -hmm. So, but the refrigerator, though, we don't want to take that all the way over there and that will really not look good I don't think with all the white refrigerator with the stainless steel stove and stuff I don't think it would cool at all all right so we definitely would want to get a new one and like for Marco's birthday I want to be in a spot where we can get him a new bedroom outfit for his birthday if we get a new house we bought this futon from my niece because he fits in it but I want to eventually get him a whole new bedroom outfit yeah, we have this one house we're kind of looking at. There's a couple that we kind of have around, but we're going to, we talk to the mortgage consultant. That's her, what she is, right? Yeah. Well, like just, she pre-approves us. Well, like, for instance, give her that house that we're looking at and the price it is, and and then she can figure out if we can keep our payments in the price range we're wanting for that house. And that way we'll know if that's the amount that we can go for or not. And we'll have to go from there. And then, um... And then we have to give her our payoff on our house and all that so she knows like how much we'll be putting down when we sell this yeah. on that house. So, and it's looking good so far if we can get, you know, not top dollar, but within that range, medium dollar, I should say, 
it looks like we can do a pretty good down payment. So, because we've lived here 13 years. So. 12 years. 12 years. Almost 12. Yeah. Probably 12 years this summer. And then um, that new house, well, the house that we're looking at, it's brand new. And um, it's pretty much like our house now. It's almost set up just like this house, except everything's bigger. It's got a three car garage, and then. Um, the bedrooms are bigger. The bedrooms are bigger, and it's the For master the bedroom's bigger. The kitchen is bigger. The kitchen doesn't, it's more open. It doesn't have an island. So it's more open and it has a little area for over on the side for the table. So it's just a lot more open. More cabins, it looks like. Window by the sink. So we're not necessarily looking for a huge house. No, no, no. So we'll we settle for a two-car garage or whatever. But we're, we're not looking for a huge house. We just need something with a little bit bigger rooms for the boys. Mm -hmm. But the third-car garage will come in handy for when Marco starts driving and has yeah. his own car. That way you don't have to put him, otherwise we have to park in the driveway and we don't have to either, he'd either park on the street or park behind one of us and then we'd have to move every time we want in and out and that's just kind of a pain. So it would be really nice to have a three car garage. Yeah. So, and then by the time Rafa would drive, Marco would already be off to college and whatever, so, because yeah. they're so far apart in age. Yeah. Eight years. Yeah. So. So in eight we, years, let's see. Four years of high school. Yeah, four years of college. He might be moving back home by then. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. We're going to get off here. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new. We'll see you all tomorrow for Vlogging Times Day number 25. Good night. Good night, y'all.